Uh, my name is Mike Tappan. I'm with the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. So we had about a thousand people evacuated yesterday or given evacuation orders. None of those evacuation orders have been lifted. Um, our evacuation center is set at the Evergreen Middle School. It was shut down overnight since no one was there, uh, but it's going to be reopening at 8 a.m. It's going to be an information hub for anybody who needs it for uh, who, who's been evacuated. Uh, with that, we'll take any questions. The weather sure helped us last night. That rain really allows us to, to get a little bit more progress on it. Of course, all the support from our neighboring agencies. Uh, we're thinking today with the temperatures being a little lower, there's more humidity in the air, that we'll be able to really attack it hard. Well, we have ordered air resources. They're coming. They should be here any moment. So I know uh, evacuations are being monitored. Uh, as soon as we're able to let people back in, we will do so. Um, I do want to say that we are in a stage two fire ban. Um, so this is just a good reminder as to why we're in that fire ban, uh, trying to prevent any sort of fires. So please adhere to that. Yeah, it should be open all day. Yep, and then uh, you can also follow us on any sort of social media, Twitter, or Facebook, for any updates also. Have you guys had any problems with people not wanting to leave their homes? Um, I'm not sure if we've had any resistance or not. Um, I'm sure some people have stayed. They don't always uh, evacuate when we ask them to. Um, that's their decision, though. Do you envision having to expand so it's like the evacuation day? So we hope not to expand the evacuation. We hope that... Uh, the fire guys are up there able to do a, a, an awesome job like they've been doing overnight. Um, but we'll be monitoring it. And if, that, if, if, the, if it comes to needing more evacuations, then those people will be notified. The current roadblocks that are in place, are those again be in place all day today? Yes, uh, the roadblocks will continue to stay in place uh, until the fire is contained. I don't have it. Yeah, we don't have any information on what caused the fire yet. Um, that'll be something that'll be determined later. Right now, we're just focusing on getting this under control right now. What's been the most challenging thing in fighting this fire trying to contain it? Sure, the most challenging part, it's in a very rocky area, steep terrain, a lot of trees. Um, so our, our firefighters are getting in there. Boots on the ground make a difference, but it's, it's tough going. It is tough going. Um, you know, the weather yesterday was hard because of the heat. We are worried about people getting, uh, you know, having heat exhaustion, getting tired. But uh, luckily, you know, this cool weather is going to help us today. Um, in terms of air resources, I know um, that with COVID, there's been more of an emphasis on using air resources as opposed to people on the ground. Is that part of the reason why you guys brought them in quickly? Uh, air resources were brought in quickly just because of the terrain. It's steep. Uh, trees were torching. That they really help us with water drops and getting a line, uh, keeping that, the fire in that box that we're hoping to. Um, COVID, we do have measures in place for that. Crews are staying together. Uh, we're trying to keep spacing between not home agencies. And so it's, it's part of our safety briefing. It's part of everything before they walk into the forest. They know they've got to be prepared for that. Absolutely, there are safety measures in place at the shelter. Um, I know you guys have said there's about 100 firefighters on the ground. Um, can you give us a sense of where those are coming from? Or is it all local agencies? Anything you want to see? You know what? We've got folks coming from all across the state. Um, we, had, we had a crew, a hotshot crew, come in from South Dakota. Luckily, they were already staged in this region. So they were able to get in last night. They were actually the ones that spent the night on the fire, kept an eye on it for us all night long. Most of the mountain agencies up here are volunteers. So these are neighbors helping neighbors. So it's great to have other agencies come in and support us. Um, but you know, these are folks that are leaving their day jobs to fight the fire. So we do really appreciate all the assistance and the help.
you know what, we've got engines in place for structure protection um, on the side where the, most of the homes are. So we feel really confident to, that we can jump on it today. There was a few torching trees overnight. We hope there was not much slop over. Again, we'll have a flyover here shortly and have a better idea. But we feel confident that we've got enough boots on the ground that we can keep homes as safe as possible. Thank you.